The beloved British sitcom Only Fools and Horses has brought joy and laughter to audiences for more than 40 years. One of the beloved characters was Boise, the unscrupulous used car salesman played by actor John Chalice. After Chalice passed away from cancer in September of 2021 at age 79, tributes poured in from fans and colleagues. Join Facts First as we delve deeper into his life and legacy and the recent heartbreak that has befallen his family. The Loss of a Comedic Legend When John Chalice passed away in September of 2021, it signaled the end of an era. He was best known for portraying Terrence Aubrey Boise Boyce, one of the most iconic sitcom characters ever on Only Fools and Horses. With his trademark mocking laugh and ever-present cigar, Boise became completely synonymous with John Chalice after all his years on the show. Generations grew up watching Chalice work his magic as the scheming used car salesman who was always getting up to no good with pal Del Boy. Between the cackling and cigar smoke, Chalice totally embodied the dodgy Wheeler Dealer. Boise became forever tied to his name even long after the show ended. Though Boise defined Chalice's career, he had a long and varied body of work before and after the iconic role. Chalice got his start in television in the late 60s, appearing on popular shows like Dixon of Doc Green and Z Cars. In the 1970s, he gained notice for playing corrupt police sergeant Culshaw in the series Citizen Smith, written by Only Fools creator John Sullivan. Chalice brilliantly portrayed Boise from 1981 to 2003, appearing in over 60 episodes of the classic BBC sitcom. With David Jason as the hapless Wheeler Dealer Dell Boy and Nicholas Lindhurst as his impressionable younger brother Rodney, Only Fools and Horses became one of the most beloved British comedies ever made, and Chalice's Boise was an integral part of that magic. Boise's underhanded business deals and constant mocking banter with Jason's Dell Boy gave the show some of its funniest and most memorable moments. Yet over the years, Chalice also revealed a more sympathetic side to Boise through tender moments with his on-screen wife Marlene, played by Sue Holderness. After the show ended, Chalice revived the Boise character in the spin-off series The Green Green Grass from 2005 to 2009. His brilliant comedic timing and ability to wring endless laughs from Boise's blustering arrogance cemented Chalice's place in the comedy pantheon. Later, he enjoyed new popularity, starring as Monty Staines on the long-running sitcom Benidorm from 2007 to 2018. He also found later success touring theaters in a one-man show, reminiscing about his time on Only Fools. In 2016, Chalice became an unlikely hit by recording a cover of the Beatles song being for the benefit of Mr. Kite with Serbian rappers. Throughout his lengthy and varied career, John Chalice proved himself a versatile comedic force. Over a career spanning six decades, John entertained millions with his perfect comic delivery and performance as the legendary Boise. Legacy and Tributes The death of John Chalice sparked an immense outpouring of love and admiration from colleagues, friends, and generations of fans. His contributions to Only Fools and Horses created a beloved legacy that lives on even after his passing. Chalice's co-star and on-screen adversary David J gave a poignant tribute, calling him a gentleman in the true sense of the word. He praised Chalice for embodying the role of Boise and bringing such humor and humanity to the character over decades on the show. He also expressed disbelief that Chalice had passed away. He said seeing John playfully reach over to knock his hat off in that photo is such a touching moment, it's almost hard for him to look at. Sue Holderness, who played Chalice's on-screen wife Marlene, spoke of her immense grief and paid tribute to her partner on screen and stage for 36 years, as well as her beloved friend. Their friendship translated into one of the warmest, funniest husband-wife relationships ever seen on television. Chalice's love for Only Fools and Horses led him to make the documentary Boise in Belgrade, exploring why the show was so beloved in Serbia. This year, he was granted honorary citizenship in the country, a testament to his international popularity. Among the most touching tributes were those referencing the iconic scene where Boise reveals his middle name is Aubrey during a seance. Fans called it the perfect encapsulation of how Chalice brought such heart and humanity to even the most arrogant character. A Touching Tribute, The Headstone The family of John Chalice paid perfect tribute to his iconic role on Only Fools and Horses with the inscription on his grave. Under Chalice's name and years of birth and death, a simple but meaningful line reads, I am here. 
This refers to the classic Only Fools scene where Boise reveals his embarrassing middle name of Aubrey during a seance, when the psychic conducting the seance says someone named Aubrey wishes to make contact, Boise responds with the iconic line, I am here. By placing this quote on his headstone, Chalice's family immortalized one of his most memorable comedic moments. Fans of Only Fools and Horses immediately picked up on the significance. Many commented that the headstone quote was a beautiful way to pay tribute to both the man and the role that defined him. The inscription keeps Chalice's legacy alive while also providing a fittingly humorous epitaph for the renowned funny man. By declaring I am here, John Chalice will remain always present in the hearts of those he entertained. The Loss of a Nephew The Chalice family suffered another tragic loss recently with the untimely death of John's beloved nephew, Simon Chalice. The sudden passing of Simon has left a profound emptiness for the Chalice family. By all accounts, Simon was a caring soul who had a very close bond with his uncle John. Family meant everything to Simon, who grew up admiring his uncle as a successful actor. Simon was transfixed by John's comedy skill on Only Fools and Horses from a young age. Witnessing the joy his uncle could bring through performance inspired Simon to become involved with local theater as a shy but creative kid. As he grew older, he became passionate about getting into television production. His uncle's fame showed it was possible to build a career in entertainment with enough grit and persistence. Though the industry proved difficult to break into, Simon refused to relinquish his dream. Before his tragic death at only 29, Simon was mapping out plans to relocate to London, the city his beloved Uncle John had conquered. He hoped to finally get his foot in the door and make the Chalice family name proud. John's widow, Carol, shared the devastating news on social media that Simon had passed away unexpectedly while in Germany. After getting Simon's belongings returned from overseas, the family discovered his wristwatch had gone missing. The circumstances around Simon's death and the missing watch remain a mystery, but Carol's revelation sparked an outpouring of sympathy and outrage from fans and supporters. Many couldn't believe someone would steal such a personal item from the deceased. The alleged theft added further insult and pain to the already tragic situation for the Chalice family. But the immense support from John's fans proves that the legacy of Chalice and Boise is stronger than ever. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of John Chalice? What's your favorite episode of Only Fools and Horses? Let us know in the comments section below.